Okay, Bob, we have the, quite the interesting moon coming up. Yeah. But I don't it, even really know what exactly. It's so many different things all encompassed yeah, in one. Yeah, all three happening at the same time at the end okay. of the month. Now, a uh, blue moon isn't really going to be blue. It's just because we have two full moons in the same month. And this is okay. the last day of being January 31st tomorrow. And it's full tomorrow morning uh, just uh, before sunrise. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Sky should be clear to see the moon. We've got some photos sent in, too. Van Ways, a webcam showing a lot of blue skies uh, throughout the afternoon. Warming things up just a little bit. We had highs today into the mid 60s. We'll be a little bit higher than that tomorrow. Gorgeous sunset tonight. Van Wazel webcam uh, showing that and depicting that. Quite a nice sunset right there. And a photo of Barbara Sieber is sending this moon, full moon in and full moon effect right there. Everything will be happening. We won't see the, the full lunar eclipse because the, sun, uh, the moon will be setting before it goes into the full eclipse as far as the moon goes uh, tomorrow. But here's a look at the uh, spectacular lunar trifecta all in one night or one morning, if you will be. Uh, the best viewing will be in the West United States. They'll see the entire eclipse, a marvelous cosmic trifecta. And it's going to be, again, the moon closest to the Earth, known as perigee. Uh, that will make the moon about 30% brighter. On top of that, 14% uh, bigger. And then we have the blue moon. That's a full moon, two of them in the same month. And then Again, that super moon is when it reaches its perigee. The blood moon uh, won't really occur for us because it will be setting before that happens. But it, the Earth's shadow is cast upon the moon. There's still some light that gets into it and it turns into that terrific red that you see right there. Uh, if you don't miss this rare event, you have to set your alarm clock pretty early, though, for tomorrow morning. Uh, again, just before 6 a.m. Weather headlines read like this. It looks like um, chilly overnight. It will be colder to start things off tomorrow morning. We'll have lows into the low 40s uh, to mid 40s near the coast. And uh, we'll be a little warmer, though, in the afternoon. High temperatures will reach into the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. And then rain chances increasing again on Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. It won't be as intense as the last rain that we saw, but there still will be some showers, it looks like, at this point. Well, we have another cold front that is uh, sliding to the south now. This cold front is going to bring in some pretty chilly temperatures over the northern Plains states. Eventually, this front will make its way through our area right now. It's over the Plain States and will continue to uh, sag to the south and southeast over the upcoming days. But high pressure uh, in control right now all across the southeast, keeping skies clear there. And we're getting that east to northeasterly wind flow a little bit more easterly tomorrow, which will warm us up to near 70 degrees. 49 right now. The dew point has dropped considerably down to 37. The pressure is really rising now at 30, 29. That's high. And today's high was 65 degrees. This morning's low was pretty close to average. You'll notice a, a bit difference tomorrow, almost 10 degrees below uh, what it normally is. So we'll start off in the mid 40s. We'll warm up throughout the afternoon. Should be a very, very pleasant afternoon with light winds, clear skies, and uh, generally calm conditions. Water's uh, still a bit rough out there, but those will be lessening somewhat. By 10 o'clock, we'll be up near 60 degrees. Uh, 10 o'clock, we'll be up near 60. And then uh, in the afternoon, as I mentioned, we'll be up near 70 degrees. Uh, by 8 o'clock tomorrow night, though, not as cold. We are anticipating uh, low temperatures tomorrow night around 50. Well, here comes the first front. This one comes down on Friday. It should not spoil. Again, it looks like uh, music on Main. As the front comes down, it kind of falls apart, and we see a little increase in clouds. This is the next front, a little low-pressure energy coming across all at the same time in the afternoon and evening on Sunday. And even into Monday morning, snow will fall as far south as Tennessee with that one. For boaters tomorrow, small craft exercise caution as well as advisories in effect. We showed you that earlier. And mostly fair cold tonight. North winds at 10 to 15. Now here's a seven-day forecast as we see at a high of 70. We warm up nice on Thursday, Friday. Really quite nice. Now Sunday, increasing clouds and a chance for showers later on in the day. That continues on Sunday night. And temperatures remaining even warm after the front moves on through. Jacqueline. Okay, thank you so much, Bob.